That's some really nice chicken. Yeah, southern fried chicken. This is Dana Anderson of Dynasty the Live Improvised Soap Opera. He is, in fact, the founder of this wonderful comedy show that takes place every Monday night here in Edmonton. So, uh, Dana? Yeah? Um, what do you have to say for yourself? You started off this entire show 22 years ago. What made you do that? 22 years ago? Well, well it was Dark Monday. Some actors needed something to do, so we uh, created this show way back when with Ian Ferguson and Stephanie Wolf, Paul Morgan Donald, and myself. Uh, started doing this for fun, and it just grew and grew, and we've been doing it for 22 years, and we've gone international with it. It's taken over like a virus throughout the improv world, so uh, we hope to continue you that growth and I see it's gone success has gone to your head and uh, look at you live in the highlight oh absolutely yeah. I'm playing a pretty high-class character in the south so that's fun playing south characters is really hard not to go home at the end of the day keep their accent going strong eating a chicken drinking a bourbon eating a chicken drinking a bourbon <laughs> that's what we do yeah. yes sir so I want to ask you you have many famous people who come here and want to play in dynasty right that's correct yeah yes some of them include uh, well, we've had, uh, let's see, we've had George LaRock show up for our show. We've had Joe Flaherty show up for our show. And we even had Mike Myers of Mike Myers fame show up for the show. And Nathan Fillion of Nathan, oh, Nathan Fillion fame. Oh, that guy, Castle, yeah. Castle, yeah. Firefly. Well, he was in the cast, so he wasn't as much as a celebrity as the others because Nathan is actually part of the heart and soul of Dynasty from years back. Oh, yeah, you make him do some of the janitorial work after. Yeah. Good. Exactly. Yeah, good. That's what they do here with their comedians. Yeah. Mark, how many years have you been playing characters here? Uh, well, this is my 20th year. Uh, Dynasty itself is uh, celebrating its 22nd season. And what are you, who are you playing this year? Uh, this year, uh, we've got a Tennessee Williams sort of setting, and uh, I'm playing uh, the uncle of the rich, powerful Beaumont family. I'm uh, Uncle Arthur, and it's essentially a Paul Lind impression. Okay, so can you give us some of your Paul Lind impression? Sure. Hey, Abar, how y'all doing? <laughs> Good to see you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for visiting us here in 1950s Louisiana. Do you Sounds ever like make a mistake and start doing that like off stage somewhere, like maybe the grocery store or anything like that? No, I mean I'm usually pretty good at keeping all my character voices, you know, in in order and and speaking as myself when I'm supposed to and not lapsing into characters. I'm sure you'll see it in the papers when I I do lose that ability. What has been your favorite thing about being part of Dynasty? Oh well, I I love Dynasty. Uh, it's my bowling night essentially, and that's the way we all look at it. And we've got a bunch of professional actors and improvisers uh, who come together. <laughs> on their night off, Monday night, and we uh, we all just make something up, and it's one of my favorite things to do. What's the interaction with the audience? I mean, you have a lot of people who come here year after year, don't you? Yes, we do. We have a very die-hard uh, core of die-hards, they call themselves, our super fans, yeah. and uh, they come back week to week because they want to see how the story goes. However, we are uh, sort of, you know, uh, situated that you can just, like, drop in, and it will still be hilarious, and you might not know the ongoing plot line, but maybe you'll want to come back and see what happens next week. What do you want people to know about Dynasty? Well, it's every Monday night here at the Barscona Theater at 7.30. Come on down. Come on down. It's lots of fun. It doesn't matter if you've ever seen it or you've seen it all the time. Just keep coming back. It's always funny, always entertaining. <laughs> Y'all come back now, yeah? Have some chicken.